Hey guys, Pepper here, and welcome to another video. So today, I'm telling you a scary story. Let's get into it. It was a nice day in Jama. Little did I know, this day would change me forever. It started off normally. My normal routine was to wake up, watch some Nat Geo, and then go out with my friends. This day, however, my friends were spending some time with the Alphas, who were visiting our village at the time. I decided to check the shops anyway. The Alphas never intrigued me. I wandered the streets of the township, looking into the windows of the shops, when suddenly, a voice started pulling me towards the dark forest. The elders of our village always called it the Lost Temple of Zios, and always told the children to stay away from it. Even when the Alphas visited, they made sure to steer clear of the dark forest. Well, anyway, a voice kept pulling me over there. Why? I was just drawn to it somehow. My paws started taking me over there without my brain even registering it. Seconds later, I was in the middle of the forest, not even conscious of what was going on. I snapped out of my daze and I realized I was trapped in the forest. In seconds, I was surrounded by a mob of angry phantoms, their evil purple eyes staring at me. I tried to scream, but nothing came out. I tried to run, but my legs failed me. They said nothing. They just started walking closer and closer and closer. I was just about to move again when I felt their electric little limbs zapping me. It was a pain I wish upon no one. Then, I blacked out. For months? Years? How long had it been? I was trapped in my own thoughts. I didn't know what to do. And suddenly, I woke up, surrounded by townspeople, elders, and even the alphas. What happened? I asked. Greeley responded with a mean sneer. Haven't you heard of that forest? He yelled. Peck took my paw in hers, calming me down. You've been gone for a week. We found you on the border of the Lost Temple, she told me. Liza chimed in. We think the phantoms took you. Sir Gilbert will watch over your den tonight. Now go to sleep. I was too terrified to sleep, but eventually, somehow, I did. That night, I had a terrible nightmare. But it seemed so real. Too real to be a dream, or a nightmare, or whatever it was. A phantom was in a white room, yelling random things that I couldn't understand. It was in phantom language or something. Finally, he said one thing that I could understand. We'll get you again. One day. And I know, of course, you're all terrified to go to sleep now. That was such a scary story. But just to let you know, it's 100% fake. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.